Now, the president's taking off just as his approval rating hits a new low. He's down to 38% approval in the latest Quinnipiac poll. Bill Hemmer is with me this morning. How are you, sir? Nice he to see you. He gracefully <laughs> comes over from yes. the Fox News channel to appear with us. At a most civil hour, I would say. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's right. I wouldn't want to get you in here at 5 o'clock in the morning. How does the president re re recover mm. or bounce back yeah. from this low? 30%? I, I, I think you need an infrastructure bill. Or you need a build back better bill. You, you need something to turn around this national conversation. Mm. Um, Quinnipiac came out yesterday afternoon. Uh, everybody looks at the bottom line number. Only 38% approve. I, I think you got to go into the numbers and look at independence. Mm. And that's what I did. And, you know, these are white voters with a four year college degree. And they live in suburbs. They turned their back on Donald Trump. And it's, it's worse than what I said 3853. It's 3260. Now, when you go to the issues now on the economy, among independents in this group, 61% disapprove. Oh. And uh, Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. military, 65% disapprove among this group. Oh. And that, that's Kabul, that's Afghanistan. Same group now. Um, honest, 57% say, say no. 57% yeah. said no, he's on, not on, honest. On honesty, remember? I mean, he, he, that's not his image when he walked he into the White on, House. He ran on that. Yes, Stuart. he did. Uh, leadership skills, 63% say no. And a big one here on competency. Is the administration competent? 62% say no. I, I would say those numbers are brutal. I, I've never worked in a White House. I'm never going to be president. I don't know how you climb out of that unless you come over the top with a major piece of legislation that yes. the American people want. That you can present to, like, free pre-K, perhaps, mm -hmm. um, child care, perhaps. I mean, that's mm -hmm. voter attractive. Yeah. If you can post that, maybe you can bounce yes. back. I, I, he I might I, do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Bill. 25 years ago today, October the 7th, we started here. Not I didn't, but uh, Fox News started. You've been here for 16 years, haven't yeah. you? I have been here for 16 years. My, the first night I started here was the eve of Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> and, and I got called in on a Sunday oh, night uh, to do an 8 p.m. show. I walked into Studio B down the, um, down the hallway down here. And, you know, there's a lot of people watching. You got a big storm out there brewing. It's coming, right, Stuart? And I walked in the studio and Julie Banderas was sitting there. And, and Julie said, hi, Bill, I'm Julie. I said, Julie, hi, I'm Bill. And she said, that is your seat right there. Mm -hmm. And off we went and off we ran, which is very similar to the way we run things around here at Fox anyway. That's it's kind very of like, true. Very just true. go for it. Yeah. See what you get. 25 years ago, I was at CNN. And you were at CNN yes, as well. Um, you Go and ahead. I. Go ahead. You Go and ahead. I. I think I was doing a 5:30 in the morning show. Is that, yeah. Does that sound right to you? Yeah, we I did. Mean, I felt together. like two, yeah. but I think it was 5:30. Yeah. And you were doing a show out of New York. Here, I was in Atlanta. You were in New York. I think you were doing like a 6 a.m. business show. I was. Is that right? Yeah. So you and I would do a cut-in during that yes. show where I would check in with Stuart Varney yep. live in New York to tell you what's coming up next on the business day for that day. Do you, do you, re do, do you, do you re Oh, I remember okay. it well. All right. Yes. All right. So my memory serves. Your here. memory is good in that respect. I was at CNN, and I remember when Ted Turner, you know, the founder of CNN, mm -hmm. when, uh, when we started, when they started Fox News, he said, we're going to crush him like a bug. Yeah. Remember that one? I sure do. <laughs> Things yes. didn't turn out quite Very that well. way, did they? You know, the other thing people don't remember then is that Fox came in the air at the same time that MSNBC came on the air. And, and back then, MSNBC had the money of General Electric, which was a much stronger company back then. Yeah. And they also had the money of Microsoft. That's right, they did. And, and I, I think we were all thinking that, that that was the big competition and not Fox. Not. <laughs> uh, we did all right. We did all right. Hey, happy birthday uh, to you, Stuart. Thank you, my son. Uh, we can watch Bill Hammer, uh, 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern on Fox, along with Dana. Yeah. Great combination. Thank you. Thanks man. for coming Appreciate on, Bill. Nice, nice to see you, Stuart.